Now, if you remember, we're going to use this threaded bar. Now, I don't want to use all this, all this threaded bar because it's quite expensive and I could probably make more than one brake shaft out of it. We'll use about six inches and then we're going to attach it to a piece of 12 mil. But this is EN8 and the 12 mil is stainless. The two really don't mix. So what we're going to do is we're going to machine the end of this down so it goes inside the 12 mil and then we're going to silver so solder the two together which should be very strong and shouldn't snap shouldn't i hope no it won't snap because we've done some tests welding this to bar if you wiggle it around it snaps well the weld joint doesn't snap but the bar does because it it goes brittle once it once it gets to welded temperatures uh a test with silver solder that my good friend did seems to be mighty strong uh, and obviously that doesn't change the properties of the rod i'll get this prepped i'll get the bar prepped and then we'll nip up to my friends and do some silver soldering we shall begin with the 12 mil Just the bar about making that noise. Don't shaft. Stainless. Right, that's that bit done. Now we shall do this bit.
Now we're going to thread on that. Oh dear, I forgot to press bloody record on it. Threading it. Anyway, I threaded it. I shall see if it fits the bar. So that's that done. So I've turned this down to nine and a half mil. Put an M8 on the end, about quarter of an inch, which corresponds with a nine and a half mil hole that I put in the stainless and the thread at the back, at the bottom of it. So it's about three quarters of an inch altogether, and that screws into there. And then once that silver soldered, we should be pretty straight. So let's go to my mates and get it silver soldered. Oh, and the other thing is because that's not completely flat, that gives some way for the silver solder to also run. This is going to be quite strong, I think. Right, so we're here at uh, my friend's workshop. We've just mixed up uh, a tiny bit of flux. There's not too much. Uh, we're putting a little bit on the inside here, making sure we get the area where we're going to solder. Also a bit on, on the shaft before we screw it together. This is hopefully where the solder is going to run. Uh, making sure that you get enough flux on, uh, make sure we get a good a good joint. Getting them getting it screwed back together now. And then we fire up the uh, the blow torch. So we're just doing a bit of preheating here. Um, instead of just putting the heat in one area, uh, we're spreading the heat across and that will hopefully give us a good joint. And now we just apply a little bit of silver solder. Believe it or not, it doesn't take much. Just see it boiling up there. And now it's just starting to flow. I'm just running it across the joint there and that's it, it's pretty much done. And voila, finished. Just let it cool. There we are, we're done. We're back at the workshop. That was a bit interesting, wasn't it? Well, that's it for this video. If you've liked what you've seen and you haven't already, then maybe consider clicking the subscribe button and the notification bell. You'll be notified when we next release a video. And if you wouldn't mind tickling the like button, that will help it share around to like-minded folk just like yourself. And uh, clicking over here, you could uh, watch one of these fabulous choices from my collection of videos. Stay safe. Laters. Hmm, that's a good one.